Dental providers make a big difference in their patient's health. One of the fundamental ways a patient stays healthy is to live tobacco and nicotine free. Most people who use tobacco want to quit but will need support to achieve their goal. Patients expect to be asked about tobacco use at healthcare visits. When dental providers promote tobacco cessation in their practices, patients report more satisfaction with the quality of their care. Helping patients to quit starts by asking about their tobacco use. Every patient at every visit. Do you smoke cigarettes or use any other form of tobacco, including electronic cigarettes? We ask all of our patients about tobacco because it's really important for their dental health. Do you smoke or use any other form of tobacco? No, not really. Do you ever smoke cigarettes? I'm out with my friends drinking. I'll have one or two cigarettes. We also wanted to ask if you use any form of tobacco products, including cigars, e-cigarettes, chewing tobacco. Yeah. Great. OK. When asking patients about tobacco use, it's important to be purposeful and engaged. Here are examples of how not to interact with patients. Okay, I've looked through your medical history, it looks like. No major changes to your health, right? No heart attacks, allergies, smoking? Nope. Okay, great, let's get started. So, I know this is a little bit awkward coming from your dentist, but I just kind of have to ask, do you smoke? Well, you know, sometimes I have a few cigarettes. Okay, I'm not trying to tell you what to do or anything. I just, as your dentist, I have to ask. Once tobacco use has been determined, it's important to give strong, direct advice to quit. As your dental provider, it's important that you know that quitting your tobacco use is the single most important thing you can do for your health now and in the future. My staff and I here at the office are trained in tobacco cessation and we can help you quit if you're interested. So continuing to smoke increases your risk of oral cancer and tooth loss. Quitting smoking will even prevent the stains accumulating on your teeth, something that you pointed out earlier today. I want you to know there have been some tissue changes in your mouth and your gum health is getting worse since your last visit. I'm concerned because I think your cigar smoking is affecting your oral health. Don't be judgmental or insistent, and don't lecture the patient. You do realize that smoking is incredibly harmful to your baby, right? Like, you need to stop now. The dental provider's role can simply be to encourage quitting and connect patients with outside resources to help them get there. Reminder cards and brochures may help, but connecting patients directly with cessation programs before they leave your practice is seven times more likely to connect a patient with resources than asking them to call on their own. I think it's wonderful that you're trying to quit. Giving up tobacco is the best possible thing you can do for your health. I want to let you know about some local programs at the hospital. They offer stop smoking classes and professional support. They have flexible hours and your insurance might cover some of the costs. I can help you enroll today. The Smokers Helpline is a free service that will help you quit. Here's the card with the phone number and the website, but they also offer an electronic referral service that we can sign you up in our office right now, and they'll call you within 48 hours. How does that sound? Okay, we can try. Okay, let's sign you up. Providers who want to be more involved can go beyond Ask, Advise, Connect by being active tobacco cessation providers and lead the patient through the quitting process. The key decision point is assessing how ready the patient is to make a quit attempt. Your next steps should be personalized to the patient's readiness to change. I have tried quitting at least 20 times. It's been really difficult. Well, the good thing is it sounds like you made multiple attempts and I can see the commitment that you've had there. Um, I think one of the big things that I'm seeing is that you're willing to try again. I definitely am and I definitely want to. Mm -hmm. It's really stressful at work right now, so I'm afraid that I'm going to try again, something stressful is going to happen, and I'm going to go right back to smoking. Okay, so it looks like the, the link to smoking is dealing with the stress that you might have going on at work? I think so. Okay, I think a really important thing that we do want to note that is those past attempts, we can't think of those as failures, we have to think of those as a one step getting closer to that finish line. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you think you can tell me a little bit more about your past smoking attempts? Sure. I tried the gum and I tried the patches and none of them have worked obviously. Okay. 
that there may be different medications that could be a better fit for you, or we may need to think about different options that the gum and patches don't cover, like coping with the stress that's happening at work. So research has shown that behavioral counseling in combination with medications can greatly increase your chances of having a successful quit attempt. So there are several medications that I can prescribe to you that will help you manage your cravings while you're trying to quit. Would you be interested in learning more about these medications? How about your next appointment? We set aside 30 minutes. You can do it in the next couple of weeks, and we'll talk about a tobacco quick plan. Our dental hygienist here is certified in tobacco cessation. He can work with you one-on-one -on -one and come up with a personalized strategy. So before setting your quit date, I highly recommend that you remove all of your cigarettes from your home, work, and car. That way it'll make it a lot easier for you to quit. Quitting tobacco is a long-term process. Arrange to help the patient all the way through their quit attempt. Hello, Mr. Hollis. I'm just calling to follow up with you about your quit attempt this week. How are you doing? Great. Sounds good. Well, please let me know if there's anything we can do to assist you further. Thank you. Bye. So let's take some time at your next visit to talk about your progress. How does that sound? Great. Great to see you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. It only takes a few minutes, but dental providers who engage in tobacco cessation can make a huge difference in the health of their patients.